Joy, joy, joy. My name is Ed Howie, and this is Howie Grow a Brand. If you like what you learned from this video, help us promote this channel by clicking the like button below and subscribing to our channel, How We Grow a Brand. Ready to go? Let's get into today's chat. So let me tell you how excited I am about today's guest. Today's guest is Nichelle Pace, and Nichelle is a phenomenal human that you're going to love getting to know, and you're going to hear a lot from her over the next years, weeks, and months. Nichelle is a seasoned media and creative arts professional. She's got over 20 plus years of experience in the film, video production, as well as lifestyle marketing and advertising agency background. She has led award-winning campaigns in large shops from New York to Chicago. She has been the steward of many global and domestic brands, including Procter & Gamble, Estee Lauder, Hendrix Gin, Stoli Vodka, RJ Reynolds, and Sharp Electronics. So Nichelle has led clients with purpose across integrated digital and social marketing efforts, as well as she successfully developed and increased client revenue for small and mid-sized agencies in the mid-Atlantic region. Now, serving as an industry expert and speaker panelist, Nichelle has been featured in publications, podcasts, television, and at leading marketing and social media conferences, such as Revision Path, Social Media Week, New York, Blogger Conference, Blogacious Conference, NYC Three Day Startup, Mashable Social Media Day, Essence Magazine, CBS Early Show, and the Today Show. Her entrepreneurial spirit is contagious. Her experience and leadership in the marketing community firmly lays a tremendous foundation for her in which she transitioned to opening her own boutique creative agency, Brand Enchanting Media. So not only has she opened her own firm, she's celebrating over five years of entrepreneurial independence. And beyond all that she has done, you're about to spend some time with a most amazing human who brings candor and grace and uh, incredible perspective to topics that matter way more than marketing. Welcome, Michelle. Hello, Nichelle. Welcome to How We Grow a Brand. Thank you, Ed. As you know, from a business perspective, from a brand perspective, from a life perspective, from a breath perspective, what does joy mean to you? And and what is the power that you have found, you find, or you have found in joy, and why it matters? For sure, for sure. I mean, joy for me is twofold. It, it's celebration, but it's also peace. Celebration um, I, and also I, what? I, peace. peace. Having a sense of peace. Um, you know, because you can't fully be joyous if you're not at peace with your surroundings, with yourself. Um, again, that has to come from a center um, that we talked about being centered in humanity. But, you know, true joy is where you can celebrate things. Um, without all the outside noise, you can celebrate your being, celebrate the people you you're with. Um, you're inspired uh, by anything, whether it can be a, you know a sign, a visual from a landscape, um, the sound of a baby's voice. There's so many facets of joy that are all kind of emotional triggers that you know. And I'm sure there's a lot more science behind joy and, you know, our health and, and those types of things um, that we hear a lot of the doctors put out. But for me, you know, joy is really about that celebration um, within the framework of peace um, because you're in your happy place. And that's when you're truly joyous, um, you know, just on a personal note and just, you know, from from a, a branding and marketing perspective. Uh, joy is being the best part of your con customer's day. Joy is being the best part of your consumer's um, moment that they're engaging with your brand. Um, I've seen all through the pandemic, you know, some brands struggled to connect with consumers. Other brands did a really good job. And you can see in the comments across social media, I like what you're putting out. You know, this has been such a struggle for me because we don't know what they're going through. We don't know how the pandemic affected them. We don't know how it affected them financially. Are they even able to keep buying their same products? So, you know, from a brand perspective, joy comes from being the best part of your consumer's day, or at the very least, 
adding a, a little bit of joy or a little bit of comfort um, to their to their day, to their process, to their life. I can't think of any situation where I walk in wanting to have a bad experience. I mean, do we ever no. engage? <laughs> I mean, like, like whether we're going to our friend's house for a party. Now, we may go to parties that we don't necessarily want to or we're kind of obligated to. But, um, I mean, even in those situations, we're not walking in wanting to have a bad experience. We may, we may be rather wanting to nap, but we're going in expecting something positive. And to me, you know, as, as, as you talk about joy and celebration and peace, I, I've found that part of it is I also have to kind of be more deliberate about expecting joy versus like being surprised by it. Now I love to be surprised by it too, but more expecting mm-hmm. it, you know, and, and as you were talking, I thought about celebration, but what really hit me was the word peace. Let's talk about peace for a few minutes. How do you find, manage, protect your peace in your world? The power of no. <laughs> The power of no. no, baby. I love it. <laughs> the power of no. And, and, and I think it was 2020. No was my word or maybe 2019. Um, I, I had to start, you know, not overextending myself. I have duties as a vice president on the board of directors for the local business association. Now I'm joining a, another ad hoc committee in the city. You know, so there's certain times and and days where I had to shut it down. This last week was hell week. I I mentioned to you offline, you know, my youngest had prom. I had a meeting in New York. I didn't get back home till 2 a.m. You know, all kinds of things were going on all week. And it was just, you know, Saturday, I got an invite to go on a boat ride, you know, at the Jersey Shore with some friends. And I, I would have been totally down for it. But. I, I had no more capacity for anything. Right. My tank was on E. Right. So all my invites for Friday night, after prom, Saturday, Sunday, it was just, no, no. I can't. Yep. I, I, I need to, I need to kind of, you know, regroup, refill my, my tank. And, and going back to the, to, to keeping that, and I had a joyous time. I made ratatouille. If you know, that requires a lot of food prep. Yep. <laughs> You know, but that's peace for me, being able to get in the kitchen and, and making a, a, a nice home cooked dish or that something. That sounds good. But it's all about fulfillment. Yeah, and it was delicious. <laughs> um, but it's all about fulfillment. Yeah. Um, you want people to, to feel fulfilled when you are trying to transfer that energy of joy. Right. Um, and because and, that's what most people are, are, are seeking. Um, is that is to is to feel fulfilled is to 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 feel as though you know they're in a a, a mindset and an emotional space of at least completion even if it's temporary right you know sometimes that could be just going to your favorite cookie spot <laughs> yeah. and getting those cookies that you work two weeks for to be able to eat on your cheat day. Yeah. You know, that can bring you joy. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just walking into your favorite candle and fragrance store and just the smell hits you. Oh yeah. And you just instantly become joyous because you're like, I can't wait to pick out five new candles. Right. You know, so we have to also realize there's joy in the little thing in life. Just a little experience. Um Besides, you know, the bigger occasions like, you know, and I love the fact that you mentioned to expect joy. We should expect joy and especially when dealing with brands, they, they should, like I said, they should be some of the best, you know, when we're, when we're dealing with our customers, whether it's, you know, you mentioned you worked at Chick-fil-A, their customer service, everybody talks about Chick-fil-A should have ran the vaccine center yeah, exactly. just because of their customer service. Oh yeah. You know, my pleasure. I know I'm going to get a certain customer service, uh, you know, when I walk in there. So I think joy should be used in and out any brand's experience. Mm -hmm. Um, I I know we call it consumer engagement, but it's, you know, people remember not what you said, but how you made them feel. We need to kind of, I think we all have responsibility to check what kind of energy we're putting into the world. And I would tell you, you are not a joy stealer. You are a joy creator. And I am honored and blessed to know you. Thank you for spending time with me Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Likewise. 
I hope this helps and inspires your day. If any of this works on your business this week, I'd love to hear about it in the comments or please message me directly. Can't wait to see what we chat about on the next episode. We'll see you soon. Thank you.